here with Ollie. Ollie. And uh, so, Ollie, what did you play today? I played Invoke Shit All. Invoke Shit All. Man, honestly, how old are you, dude? I'm 13. Okay, you're, you're 13, and you're playing Invoke Shit All. Uh, and what'd you go today? Uh, I went 3 and 1. 3 1, that's pretty good, you know? Um, and it's not the first time you've gone 3 1 today. No. No, no you, you do fairly well locals here, and obviously I, I recognize that. So. <laughs> So, so I kind of want to see what you're playing, man. All right, All right. get into it. So I'll start off with three Alistair. Pretty standard stuff. Um, I'm gonna play. I play three Meltdown. Sure. Uh, two Invo. Pretty standard package with the Invoke stuff. Yeah. Um, I play. I can see them. Not that, play, not that anybody wants to see these cards <laughs> anyway. These are the kind of like uh, we we all get those cards. Let's let's take a look at these cards. All right. Uh, I have three. Uh, um, Rush it all, Wendy. Sure. What's Wendy do? Um, when she flips someone, she lets you summon any shadow card from your deck, and if she's sent to grave, uh, she lets you special summon any shadow card from your deck as well. Okay, yeah. Um, so Wendy's really a good pretty good smoother out of what the deck. Yep. Sure. Lets you special summon anything from your deck. Uh, next, I'm playing three Squamata. Uh, really good. Lets you send any shadow card uh, from your deck to the graveyard whenever it's set to the grave. Uh, when it's flipped up, it lets you destroy a card on your uh, on your opponent's side of the field, which is really good. Uh, next, I'm playing two Shadow Beast. Um, Beast is really good because it's really good draw power. Uh, whatever sent to grave, you just let you draw a card, and if it's flipped up, lets you draw two and discard one, which also activates all your other Shadow cards. I am uh, next playing two Hedgehog. Um, Hedgehog is good because um, when it's sent to grave, you lets you search any of the Shadow uh, monsters, and if it's flipped up, lets you search any of the Shadow uh, spells or traps. Um, I'm then playing one Ariel. Ariel is really good because. Um, Let's you bring back any of your banished uh, Shadow monsters, and when it's set to grave, lets you banish three from your opponent's graveyard or yours, which is really good against like a lot of graveyard decks to get rid of their advantage. Um, then I play one Shadow Dragon, uh, really good to get rid of back row whenever you need it. Um, when it's flipped up, lets you return a card on your opponent's side of the field to their hand, so like it dodges like uh, destroyed by card effect uh, monsters. Um, that's it for the uh, Shadow stuff. Next I'm playing, for my hand traps, I'm playing three Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. And I'm playing two Effective. Pretty small uh, hand trap package. Don't want to clog up my hands too much. Any particular reason why Effect Veiler over any other hand trap? Um, I like Effect Veiler because it's not once per turn and it's also a light. So if you ever need it, you can also use it as like Megaba fodder or whatever you need like for construct or whatnot. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. Um, I've been playing three Shadow Fusion. Really good card, unless you send from your deck if you have an extra, if your opponent has an extra monster. Um, I play three El Shadow Fusion. Um, I see a lot of people playing at two, but I really like it playing at three because unless you go for game a lot. It's a quick play battle. Uh, you can use it during battle phase and just go in for game. Um, I play one Shadal Schism. Really good card unless you fusion someone during your opponent's, uh, opponent's turn and let, send a card from their field to the graveyard. I play one Incarnation. Uh, Incarnation's good because whenever it's in the graveyard, it lets you flip up one of your uh, Shadal monsters. So you can only just like set one and like flip it up right away with Incarnation. You get its effect. That's what I'm playing for the fusion, for the spells. Um, for some board breakers, I play three Super Poly. A uh, really good card, unless you like summon window with your opponent's cards, or uh, really good for breaking uh, boards apart because there's so many different attributes in the extra deck. Yeah. Um, one terraforming, really good, just with meltdown, just lets you search it. One foolish, lets you send, dump any of the shit all stuff. Uh, instant fusion, really good, lets you summon any, uh, either a window or a Kaliga whenever you need it. I play one allure. This is like a flex spot. Uh, allure is really good, having you some draw power if you need it. You can always cut this out for something else, but I like playing Allure. Yeah, and drawing cards is good. Yeah, so. drawing cards is good. All right, um, I think we'll go to Extra Deck next. Extra Deck? Yeah, let's do Extra right. Deck next. So I'm playing one Gravity Controller. Uh, really good whenever you want to link off your Extra Deck monsters to get their effects. Uh, I'm playing one Artemis. Artemis is really good because like, whenever you normal summon your Alistair, you always link it off to have a light target for Mechaba or for a construct if you need it. Um, I'm then playing uh, two Mechaba. Uh, Mechaba's really good. Uh, it's an Omni Negate if you have the right cards in hand. Uh, and it banishes the card, so it doesn't send it to your grave. I'm playing uh, one Kaliga. Uh, Kaliga's really good, just stop, uh, stop to your opponent. Only one monster activation per turn. Uh, really good. I play one Raijin. Uh, Raijin is just a Book of Moon. Really good with like a Wendy because you have wins in your graveyard and stuff. 
uh, playing one Purgatrio. Really good for going for games. I don't like playing a Goides, because a Goides, I don't know. I just like the Purgatrio more, because it lets you attack all your opponent's monsters. <coughs> we're playing three window. Pretty standard. Uh, window just lets you lock out your opponent for the rest of the turn, and they can't really special summon more than once per turn. I'm playing two Construct. Construct lets you send stuff from your deck to the graveyard. Uh, really good, um, unless you activate all your shit all stuff. And you can dump a schism, then link off the construct for a gravity controller and add back to schism. <coughs> Playing two Apkolo. Apkolo is really good because it lets you negate a card on your opponent's side of the field. And uh, whenever you can, uh, whenever it's to grave, you can search a shit all card and discard a card, which is really, which is really good. I play one Starving Venom. Starting Venom's good with Super Poly, because you can Super Poly your opponent's cards and yours uh, to summon a Starting Venom Fusion Dragon. And it gains a pretty good amount of attack if you want to have a low 5 or higher monster. Sure. That's it for the extra deck. So what'd you play today? Like, what were, like, what'd you play against? Um, I played against Tribal and Lyralis. I also played against uh, Phantom Knights. Mm -hmm. I played against Gradles, uh, and I played against Time Lords. So what was your one loss? My one loss was against uh, Phantom Knights. Um, it was pretty hard. Uh, they had a big, uh, really big board with a bunch of negates. Couldn't really do much. Uh, had really good follow up on the grave, and I didn't draw the best. I'm assuming he won yeah. the die roll too. Yeah, he won yep. the die roll. Of course. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at the, what you got playing last. So in the side deck, I'm playing one Shekinaga. Shekinaga is good because you can use it with Super Poly. And if your opponent's ever playing like an Earth deck, you can always go into Shekinaga, and Argon. it's always like a good negate if you need it. How do you feel about sighting an extra deck monster? Because that's that's some some people feel really weird about it. How do you feel about it? Um, I think it's okay. I mean, I only do it for the attribute because if your opponent ever has like a good, if they're playing like an old Earth deck, this card becomes it uh, so probably doesn't do anything. So you always want to have that flex spot in the extra deck because Earth is still pretty popular. Okay. Um, like Tri Brigade uh, has some Earth and stuff. Okay. So I always play that one Shekinaga, just yeah. in case. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, right. I play three Twin Twister for back row removal. Mm, yes. That's the, I mean, yeah. one of the best. It's been the best for a long time. I play three Droll and Lockbird. Uh, Droll is good against Drytron. The Drytron matchup is really good against uh, Droll and Lockbird. Um, really good against a lot of decks that I just search a lot, including this deck. <laughs> and then I play uh, two Sphere Modes. Uh, this, well, I mean, when two of my duels today, uh, lets you get rid of your opponent's board and break apart the board. They're, they're, no one's expecting it. Um, it's a really good card. Takes up your normal summon, but that's fine because it's your fusion deck, so you can always act at your fusion spells and stuff. Have you ever had one of these come back to you? Uh, they... No, they usually link it off, sadly, but I mean, it, one it'll, day. Ha it'll happen someday. <laughs> one <probably>. day. <laughs> I play one ghost spell. Um, I don't know, it's just like a good I put a flex spot in the deck. Um, I don't know, you can put whatever you want in this spot instead. Uh, but it's, I, I just put it in there. Uh, I play three Dimensional Barrier. Uh, dimensional Barrier is good because there's a lot of like, uh, a lot of like Xyz fusion decks in the format and during their turn, and also against Sword Soul, the new Octet deck just came out. You can put this against them, call anything you want. You can call Synchro, Xyz, against Dracon, call Ritual. And they cannot do any of that that same turn. So really wrecks a lot of decks and Helps me win the duel a lot. Yeah. Then I'm playing three uh, Dogmatica Punishment. Really good. Uh, lets me send my Apple for my uh, extract to the graveyard, and lets me uh, pop a card on my opponent's side of the field. And Apple lets me search and discard a card, <coughs> which is really good. Dogmatica Punishment, really good uh, card. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's it. I, I honestly, it seems like a pretty pretty well put together deck list, and obviously you <coughs> play against the big dogs here. Yeah. yeah. You do you do just fine. So. Yeah. I, I appreciate you doing this for yeah. me. You know, thanks, thanks for me. You know, thanks for coming to Locals every week. You know, yeah. and uh, hopefully I'll play you next week. Next week. <laughs> All right, sounds good.